I leave people to it, it's GC Master here, and uh, we're here for another mod spotlight. Uh, today we're going to be covering Jamie's Furniture mod, or also known as the IKEA mod. Now, uh, today for this mod spotlight, I built a little house, and this is going to show us all the different things you can get in this mod. Now, the first thing we've got is the uh, more heads. So you've got like every, si well, not every single one, but uh, you've got quite a variety of different mod mob he uh, mob heads needed before. You've even got the Ender Dragon. Uh, the second th the second thing, uh, we got lights for, uh, for outdoors. And you can turn these on and off by just uh, right clicking them, which I think is a pretty cool feature. So if you want to light up your outside, you just use these. Uh, we've got the rubbish bin, which you can put all your crud in, you don't need. So if we come inside the house, we have a lovely fireplace and it has a chimney at the top. Trouble is, um, I've might have accidentally burned the roof off. Crud. Um, <laughs> I also have my uh, Christmas decorations up. So okay, so this is the uh, mantelpiece, um, and then you have the chimney as well, uh, and you can put them together as well. So they they um, have an aesthetic look. I quite I think they look quite nice. Just as long as you can control the fire, because I, I obviously couldn't do that. Um, <laughs> we also have a Christmas tree if you want to um, get festive in your Minecraft world. Uh, we have the indoor lights, which are quite nice to light up your room. Red. You can turn them on and off as well. Sadly, you can't make them different colours, but I wish you could. That would be cool. Alright, so moving on into the kitchen. We have another light. <laughs> and the kitchen has quite a lot of different things. First of all, we have these um, counters. And uh, the crafting table counter. So basically, these are just like little... Um, like, if you've ever made pressure plate tables, these are just like the, a floating pressure plate, except they don't make that noise. Um, we also have the crafting table one, which is basically a smaller crafting table. We have a sink, so we can wash our hands before we um, start cooking. <laughs> we have a fridge and a freezer, and these have quite a cool um, interior if you look quickly. There you go. Can you see it? There you go. And then the bottom does as well, it has a few trays down there. And I wouldn't recommend putting this on top of this, because it just doesn't look right. <sighs> Alright, so we have these cupboards as well, which are basically chests, but I think they look better. I could have sworn they had an animation before. Hmm. Maybe not. Uh, this is the uh, cooker. Now, what the cooker does, if we get some coal, we'll find some, there we go. We get some coal, eight will do, and we get some foods, lots of lovely foods, or raw beef, oh crap, give me my beef, thank you. What we can do is, you can put two different things in each one, oh crap, and it's basically a furnace that has two slots, so if you ever played Tech it, it's like the electric furnace I think. There's definitely a furnace in um, Tekka that does two of them, I've forgotten what it's called. Because I haven't played Tekka in ages. Um, the dishwasher. Uh, I remember this um, repairs, to uh, repairs like tools and armour. So if we switch to game mode. Survival. So if we go back into survival and switch our difficulty to... Oh, crap. We switch our difficulty to easy. Use up the sword a bit. Right, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Actually, uh, slash game mode. I can also um, show the washing machine while I'm at it. Just do some leather armor. Oh, hello. Hi, zombie. I'm in creative mode, you can't get me. How do you feel? Oh god, they're just gonna attack me as soon as I go into survival, aren't they? There we go. Alright, so we'll just use this armor a little bit. And also use the sword at the same time. Oh god. I'm lagging a bit, so it's kinda of hard to fight them. Alright, so now that we used the uh, now that we've used up our tools and armor a bit, let's go back into creative mode. They can't get us. And switch this back to uh peaceful because I want to listen to them moaning. Uh, did we use? Yeah, we used the armor. Okay, so if we get a bucket of water or two. Oh crud, don't throw it on the floor. Okay, I'll do. 
Right, three buckets of water. And we go in here. Now the dishwasher, if it'll um if we put a um uh oh, what are they called? Tools in there. I think what happens, is this it? Hmm. Or is it the armor for the dishwasher? Oh. Or is it wait a second. Let me try and figure this out. Huh. Oh, well. Spirit right back then. Dope. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, apparently the washing machine and dishwasher aren't working at the moment. So, sorry I couldn't show you. Um, but what they're going to do, or are meant to do, is uh, they can repair your um, armor and tools with uh, coal. More information about all that on the uh, website, which I'll put in the description. But, sorry I couldn't show you that, guys. Um... Also, side note, the uh, sinks will all full, uh, fill up your um, empty buckets with water, and also a little uh, thing here. They all make sounds when you click on them. Uh, right click on them, sorry. And the dragon doesn't know. Because he's boring. <laughs> Alright, so let's move on to the dining room. We have a lovely little table lamp. So that's the uh, third lamp of the um, three. We have tables and chairs if you want to uh, have like a house party. What's that there? Okay. Um, we have a television, which I think looks quite comical. And a uh, radio, but they don't do anything, sadly. They're just uh, aesthetic stuff. You also have a coffee table. I put them on there. Um, also, we have a sofa, which we can sit in and uh, watch our t watch um, TV and stuff. You can do that of any of the chairs that there are. And we have a um, grandfather clock, and you can put stuff in this little hidey hole, which is the middle bit. And uh, you can tell the time at the top. So as it says, um, the time's currently 90. Right, so moving on to the bathroom. A lot of the door and get some privacy, even though there's no one else in the world. Okay, so we have another light. That's nothing really new. We also have bathtub. So we can rub a dub dub in the tub <laughs> with all our clothes on. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Since the washing machine ain't working, I'm using the bath. <laughs> we have a sink again. This is the bathroom sink The um for the bathroom, obviously. We also have a toilet, <laughs> so you can finally go to the toilet in Minecraft. Genius. <sighs> okay. Right, so if we move, I think that's about it for the uh, furniture mod. I think this mod has huge potential, and it's pretty cool. Like You can add a lot of details to your um, houses and stuff with this. But uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to uh, leave a like on this video and subscribe uh, for more. I'll uh, put the link to download this mod in the description. And you can use the tutorial I put up a few days ago to install it. And um, after all that said, I bid you good bye.